So this is where you would walk out to the ice? Butterflies, anything? Well, you get butterflies, but I, I was generally pretty calm at the time. Right. I just want to get out there and get the one or two anthems over and get playing. Great save by Vernon. Oh, my Vernon. You and I have <laughs> known each other for so long, right? Like, we followed each other's careers and played against each other in the Western Hockey League. And I remember thinking to myself, man, that guy's unbelievable. <laughs> and uh, always knew you were destined to be a star. Tell us about uh, 85, 86 and how you got your foot in the door. The, the Flames were like on 11 game losing yes. streak. They called me up and we played Vancouver and we tied 4-4 I believe the score was. Yeah. So we broke the losing streak and then later we get into the playoffs and we go to the Stanley Cup Finals against Montreal and Patrick right. Law. That was kind of the turning point for me. When did you play your first game in the Saddle Dome? Where was I? I was in uh, Colorado. Okay. In the Central Hockey League, yeah. Colorado Flames farm system of yeah. the Flames. Uh, I get called up. I played 11 minutes. What? My goals against was 22.22. How many did they get on you? They scored four goals in 11 minutes. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's not a great memory. <laughs> it's funny that that game, and it's, it's about, yeah. you know, growing yeah. and yeah. growing that thick skin and just trying to figure life out yeah. as a goaltender, and it's not easy. No, it's not so easy. So after that game, I come off, and I'm like, how am I going to figure this out? Right. Yeah. So I spent the next two, two years in the minors. Because you only get one or two chances. Oh, yeah. If you're very lucky if you get a third chance. Yeah, well, those first rounders get those yes, chances. Okay. When you're right. in the second and third round, you don't get those chances. <laughs> when was your aha moment in the NHL? 85, 86, yeah. when I got called up, and then we went to the finals. Yeah. But I recall after the finals, sitting in my stall, um, dejected that we did not yes. win. But I was like, oh my. This has taken a lot out of me. Oh, wow. Okay. Just not physically, mentally. Right. The real teaching point for myself, yeah. internally, if I want to stay in the National Hockey League, I got to get mentally tougher. This was the overtime period in Game 7 versus Vancouver in the year you won the Cup. And I know people always talk about the save on Stan Smule for good reason. That was a beautiful yep. save. And how you kept the puck out of the net. <laughs> didn't kept slide the, into the didn't net. Didn't slide <laughs> into the net. But I think of the Tony Tanti save. So you made a beautiful glove hand, and there's another save here. Yes, it is. It was the Petri Skriko uh, save. It was kind of a, a two on oh, and honestly, he had the whole net. Yeah. I think he just wanted to hit the middle of the net, and my short little leg and my big toe, <laughs> I, I managed to get that on it and deflect it into the corner. And yeah. everybody likes to talk about the one with Stan Schmiel. Right. And, you know, I think that was the save. There's some other ones, like Gretzky here, and I'm standing at the bottom oh, of the this circle. Is the one? This is right there. Oh, we, I, I hate to tell you, but we show that <laughs> 20 times on really? Hockey Night a year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but don't, don't feel bad. They show me getting scored on a lot, too. This sometimes hasn't been a good side for me, but you, thank you for picking out the, the <laughs> one the positive one. one. <laughs> So, 89, you guys uh, beat Vancouver in that thrilling game seven, and then you steamrolled us four games straight. What do you remember about the cup finals and winning you know, in a Montreal form of all places? Well, I remember in between the second and third period, the coaching staff, you know, addressing us and say, okay, guys, if we do this, yes. just be careful because we don't know what the fans are, how they're going to react. Because they had never lost in, in Montreal, Montreal ever, yeah. In the final. Here come the play. Happy 1989. Once it happened, obviously, a celebration and that, we're kind of looking around, and the Montreal fans are all standing up on giving us an ovation. Oh, nice. It was very touching. It was no kidding, awesome. kidding, right? We, were, we all commented wow. on it, just how classy it was. And then you sit back and go, oh, <laughs> finally <laughs> did it. <laughs> My childhood dream right? it just came true. I know it must have been tough, but can you describe how it was with that pressure you talked about growing up here in Calgary, then winning a cup, and then trying to stay on top of the mountain? Don't get me wrong. We, look, we had good teams, expectations here were high. Yeah, they were. And we won and, you know, 
they thought we should score every power play. We should kill right, every right. penalty kill. Right. You know, I should stop every puck. And right. it got to a point where, yeah, it, sometimes it was tough playing at I home. Bet. In those late 80s there, we had some great teams. And if we could have kept guys together, right. and right. I think we could have maybe did some more damage. But I unfortunately, agree I agree it doesn't happen that yeah. way in this, sometimes in so this then, sport. So then you're traded to Detroit. Was that a blessing maybe at the time where you shock i was welcoming right i was like okay this is kind of what i i think i need yeah. in my career and i have to prove myself okay and uh and that's that's all i tried to do the top right to the stand -up. Two you win the cup and then they announce mike vernon con smith trophy winner what were you thinking at that point? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go over and I'm like, yes! <laughs> yeah, I remember and the shot, like, yes. yes! And then I just, I put it down and then I'm like, okay, let's bring the cup on because that's what I really want. Right? But the goal was the Stanley Cup, there's yeah. no doubt. Yeah. And that's all I cared about. But that was just a little uh, sweetener, I guess, just a, yes, I did it. I never right. even thought of it, MV, like never entered my mind. <laughs> And then your career takes a major downturn. You're traded to San Jose and you have to play with me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a downturn. That was a positive. How did that happen? How do you go from Conn Smythe winner, Stanley Cup champion to San Jose? It's a business decision. I said, I get it. Yeah, yeah. But I said, you know, uh, you guys said if I brought a cup, you would reward me. Right. So let me go to a team I want to go to. What was it about San Jose that made you choose that place. One that made me a really good offer. Gotcha. And uh, they had some great young talent. Yep. Yeah, and we did, didn't we? Young kids, oh no, wow. great kids and uh, talented kids. Yep. And they wanted to make playoffs, they wanted to ch yep. turn it around. And I said, you know what? I'd like to be part of that. Yep. We had good teams and this, yep. this other goalie, Kelly Rudy, <laughs> awesome. Oh boy, did we have fun. Yeah, we had, we had nice a good dinners. year and we had fun, right? <laughs> Absolutely. We carpooled together so many times. You never uh, gave up a lead. Not once that well, year. I don't know about that. No, that's true. You really? are our team MVP by far. And then you were eventually traded to Florida. Yeah. And that one shocked me as well. Shocked you. Right? You know, after the fact, you run into Dean Lombardi yeah. and uh, Dean would said that was the worst trade I ever made. Wow. He said, I should have left the team alone. We were fine. Yeah. You know, you sit there and look back and just, you know, I just wish I had that other opportunity. Right. And because you'd never know, right? Yeah. And then, so you go to Florida. How long were you there? Only the, uh, the rest of the season. Yes. And then I got traded. Traded back here. To Calgary. So what were your thoughts when you came back here? <clears throat> Not good. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Of all places, you're, you're going to you know finish I, it off. It's funny you say that because, you know, when I first started, I said, wow, I'd like to finish my career in Calgary, but started it somewhere else. Sure. And it was kind of That's the other way around. Yeah. So yeah. it was tough because the Calgary Flames were in a really tough position. Yeah. I gave my best years to Calgary in my first there nine. How's go. that? <laughs> So anyway, we... we uh... I know the feeling, my friend. <laughs> so... San Jose didn't see the best of me, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, no, you were good. Oh. Mike, congratulations, and welcome to the rafters. Well, it's nice looking up at all those uh, banners. Brings right. back great memories. Now the reason we're here, the Hockey Hall of Fame, and we're oh. celebrating your great <laughs> career, and were you expecting it or hoping one day that Lanny would call you or? I, not expecting it. I saw something in the paper about a week ago or something about who should get inducted. And How it, many calls do you think you got right after? It was crazy. Right. Yeah, and you know what? I must say there was a few people that really surprised me. Okay, can you share? Out of left field. Yeah, I'll share one with you. Yes. Lou Lamorello. Oh, wow, okay. Never played for him. Right. Obviously, he was with Jersey for yeah, all those for years. Sure. He wrote me one of the nicest letters, very generous with his words, and oh. I admired you, you're a competitor, right. well-deserved, congratulations. Yeah. Like, I was, wow. Oh. And that's really nice. That makes me feel I like I actually earned this thing, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. Give it some validity to it. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Mike, you deserve it, and I'm happy to call you a friend. Thanks, buddy. <laughs>